Hello, this is TTT speaking. In this video, I want to give you some insight in the development of an AI plane for DCS, namely the RA5C Vigilante, which we hope to publish before Christmas in Vietnam War Vessels 090. The A5 was first ported to DCS by Hawkeye 60 much earlier this year. However, there were some issues with the ported model which were particularly hard to resolve, so development was halted on the project. In autumn, the model's creator Hilija joined a Discord server run by Hawkeye60 and I asked his advice how to overcome the problems with the model. Hilija kindly helped to kickstart a new attempt of the conversion. First, a number of proof-of-concept conversions was done to see if the liveries would cope with the model and not too many graphical glitches were introduced. Unfortunately, due to the different prototypes developed, I picked the wrong one and started animating it. Luckily, this was discovered by Zbet soonlich after pushing out a test version. With this situation, I decided to start from a clean slate once more and re-imported the Blender file from Hilija again. This time, the liveries worked as expected and no additional glitches were introduced. Now the work started in earnest, first animating the control surfaces, then the gear, next wing fold and other needed parts. Once this work was more or less completed, it was time to share the plane with the rest of the team to see if the existing livery still worked, if the animations worked and if everything worked in game for real. With the foundation found to be solid, a number of minor bugs were fixed and work on the Lua configuration and flight model started. As none of us is a flight model expert, we hijacked the F4E SFM configuration and adjusted it for the RA5C Vigilante. Of course, development then saw a fair number of problems introduced. For example, when focusing on the launch behavior on a carrier with the bridle, the landing sequence was no longer in focus. When launch was under control, we looked more closely at the landing sequence and discovered that out of 20 Vigilante launched, at least one, if not more, would never make it back aboard a carrier. This was later fixed by increasing the effectiveness of the flaps. A hairy problem proved to be the bridle staying attached to the plane after launch. Either it would stay fully attached for the flight or it would disappear only after a few seconds after leaving the flight deck. We discovered then that the mechanimation table used from the F-18C was not working as expected with the bridle. A change of a value from 4 seconds to 0 0.5 seconds finally yielded unacceptable results. Another hot topic during development was the damage model and the display of fire when the plane crew ejects. Here we again copied the configuration from the F-4E as era contemporary dual zeta plane and found that this leads to a believable result. The damage model itself is composed of half a dozen components that take damage individually. With all these issues cleaned out, it was time to shift focus once more onto the graphical presentation of the bird. With Seabird's expertise on the liveries for the RA5C Vigilante, we first got a set of six texture sets for different squadrons aboard different carriers. Once these liveries were available, we added a normal map texture that gives the perception of depth to the model and a basic rough mat texture that more or less determines how reflective a surface is. It's basically the material for a surface. The current state of the project is that we look at different options to refine the liveries further. Namely, Odysseus is using Substance Painter to achieve visually compelling effects on the Vigilante. This concludes this session on plane development for DCS by example of the RA5C Vigilante. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers!